this video, we will show how ID8 Style Manager addresses the challenges related to managing text types within Revit models, templates, and family files. The common problem with text types is that unapproved text types make their way into the projects or templates and often cannot be purged because they are in use somewhere. These non-standard text types impact the quality of your deliverables and could require a republishing effort. Some of the ways in which these text types can come into your Revit model are shown here. But regardless of how, with ID8 Style Manager, this becomes a simple problem to address. To use ID8 Style Manager, you can select it from the ID8 Software tab, and then use the text button to display a list of text types that are defined in the project. When you begin, you'll notice that there's a question mark next to each of the text types, and that's an indication that it has not yet been analyzed. To do an analyze, you can double click on any one of the text types. As soon as you do that, it'll list how many instances or how many usages there are. And so on the right hand side, you can see those usages, most of which in this case uh, happen to be text notes. You can also select more than one. So I'll do a select and shift select here and then run the analyze button to see all of the usages. You can sort by clicking here on the column or under the name to organize them. And um, once you do that, you can walk through and see how each type is used. So this eighth inch aerial, for example, is used extensively in schedules. So if my goal is to manage so that I only have metric styles, I'm going to want to merge the styles that are imperial, such as this 332nd, into a corresponding size metric. So I'll go ahead and pick the 8th inch aerial, excuse me, uh, the 2.5 and merge. When I do that, ID8 Style Manager is moving them all into that new style. I can double click again to analyze it and we can see all those elements have been moved. This is a more um, intensive task when you're talking about the schedule. So uh, the schedule the, the corresponding aerial size here is three millimeters, and we don't actually have a three millimeter setup, so we can choose to move it to 2.5. Let's go ahead and open up one of the schedule views. And you can see here the eighth inch aerial is used extensively both in the header and the body text here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and merge that style also into the 2.5. And you'll notice here um, the change when I go through that process. The results here indicate that everything except for one item did work as expected. Let's go take a look at that again. So now with the eighth inch aerial, we have one item left and we are uh, not able to manage groups. You need to manually edit them. Um, in this case, an unplaced, it's an unplaced group. So I can choose to delete that if I'd like to, and then that would let me remove that style. In addition to merging and deleting styles, you can also edit and rename styles directly from the Style Manager. So for example, here, let's go ahead and, and double click here, and we can see the use of this larger quarter inch style right there. And we don't really have a, a six or a 6.5 millimeter style. So I think what I'll do here is make a new style or rename this one rather. So I'll make it 6.5 millimeter and make this 6.5. And then to see that change, you may need to do the refresh here. Get that. So I'm well on my way here to having an all metric standard project and have consistency throughout all of my text in this project. You will want to also review fonts, which is covered in another video. ID8 Style Manager is the solution you need to avoid delays due to republishing your BIM deliverables. With ID8 Style Manager, text types can be easily handled to meet your company or customer requirements, ensuring the highest quality standard. Visit our website at id8software.com to learn more about our products, workflows, help, and upcoming classes. Be sure to also follow us on social media for the latest information and news from ID8 Software. Thank you.